Namaste. Today we're doing slow and mindful flow. So let's begin in the child's pose. Opening your knees as wide as your mat and then softening your torso down. If your head does not touch the floor, just pull it down, uh, softening the crown towards the mat. And if you can bring the head down, go ahead and roll the forehead from side to side. Eventually come into stillness and starting to take deep breaths in and deep breaths out. With each and every inhale, inviting a little more peace and calmness. And with exhale, softening, releasing, bringing your chest closer to the mat, softening your hips. Inhale, breathing in. And exhale, completely let go and soften. And as you continue to breathe here, I would like to remind you that yoga is not about getting something or somewhere. Rather, it's about emptying and letting go. Advancing in yoga means understanding different layers of yourself. It's not about pushing through. And indeed, in yoga, every pose is supposed to be done with the sense of ease and steadiness. And if those two elements are not present in each asana, then whatever you're doing is not really yoga. So taking breaths in, breaths out. Setting an intention for today's class to trace the sense of emotional relaxation in each and every asana. To treat each pose with pure curiosity, noticing the transformation and all the change that is happening within. When you are ready, slide your hands on both sides of your face. Inhale, go ahead and lift up into all fours. Inhale, cat and cow, open your chest, look up. And exhale, round through your torso. Inhale, open up. And exhale, round. One more time. Inhale, soften in the chest. Melt the space between the shoulder blades down. And exhale, round and press the shoulder blades up. Eventually come into the center, bringing your knees together. Go ahead and extend the left leg back. And then finding the balance, reach the right hands forwards. Engage your core, spine is straight. Take full inhale, pulling in opposite directions. And then exhale, release the right hand alongside your body. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale back. Inhale, with your breath, softly extend. Exhale, draw it back. One more time. Inhale forward. Exhale, pull it back. Bend the left knee, catch the left foot behind you. And then see if you can extend the leg back and up to open your chest. Find your balance, soften your jaw. Take full inhale, exhale, release, reach the limbs back and forward, and eventually bring the right palm to the floor. Release the breath at the left toes onto the mat, and then pressing through the palms, if you can lift the right knee and right shin off the ground. Hovering here, coming into this modified plank, engaging the core, breathing softly. Full inhale in. And exhale, set the right knee down. Release the left leg back and switch on the sides. Extend the right leg. Reach the left hands forward. Find the balance first. Exhale, sweep the left hand alongside your body. Inhale forward. And exhale back. Inhale forward. 
exhale back last one inhale forwards exhale back bend your knee get your foot behind you open your chest extend the leg back and up to open your heart take full deep inhale and on exhale release extends for the limbs eventually softening the left palm down and then releasing the right toes onto the mat go ahead and use your core lift the left knee off the ground breathe here still keeping your face and your jaw soft reaching the sternum forwards take one more inhale in and exhale press the pelvis back and up coming into down dog and bring both feet onto the mat then walk your puppy bend on one knee bringing the opposite heel down working softly and then eventually bring your feet closer Coming back to the center, inhale, reach the right leg up. And on exhale, step it through between your hands, soften the left knee to the floor. Inhale, open your heart, sweep your hands over your head. And on exhale, interlace the palms behind your sacrum. Draw them down, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Maybe slide the palms on top of your left thigh down to open your chest, squeezing the shoulder blades even closer. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, ground the palms. Step your right leg back, coming into down dog. Inhale, reach the left leg high. And on exhale, step it through. Release the right knee to the mat. Inhale, airplane the hands, lift up. And exhale, interlace the fingers behind you. Pulling the shoulder blades together. Maybe open your heart and look up. Inhale, reach the hands over your head. And on exhale, ground the palms down. Step the left leg back. Inhale, reach the right leg high. Exhale, step it through. This time coming into high lunge. Inhale, airplane your hands, lift your torso up. Exhale, bring the hands in front of you. And then softly inhale, sweep the right hands back and the left. Flow in here, increasing the blood circulation, opening your shoulders, staying soft through your face. And if that's too much, release the back knee down. Take one more inhale, reaching the hands up towards the ceiling and exhale, ground them down. Step back, down dog. Inhale, reach the left leg high. Exhale, step the left leg through. Inhale, airplane your torso, lift up. And then exhale, hands in front of you. Inhale, set release in the left and then the right back. Still softly and mindfully flowing here. Trying to come to that steadiness and ease in each and every pose. Staying connected to your breath. Take one more inhale. Reach the hands up. And exhale, bring them down. Just a step back. Open your feet a little wider than your hips. Take full inhale, pressing through the palms. Pulling the chest closer to your thighs to stretch through the back. And exhale, walk your palms towards the feet. Inhale, come halfway up. And on exhale, bend your knees, melt your torso between your thighs. So we want to bring the spine parallel to the floor. You can stay here, pressing the fingertips down. Or inhale, reach the hands forward. Exhale, airplane them back. Inhale, softly reach forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. 
exhale back. One more time, inhale forwards and exhale back. Releasing the palms down. Go ahead, straighten your knees and then walk your hands back, coming into downwards facing dog. Reaching the right leg up and on exhale, step it through its hands. Now this time, ground the left foot down, heel to heel alignment. And on inhale, lifting up into warrior one. Exhale, sink deeper. Take full inhale here. And exhale, straighten the front knee. Release your hands behind you. Maybe reverse namaste. Maybe just catching your elbows. Inhale, open your heart, look up. And exhale softly, start pulling the torso forwards. Now extend the right outer hip back a little bit more, squaring the pelvis, reaching from both sides of your torso evenly. And then exhale, since the point of today's practice to relax, go ahead and round your torso over your right thigh, releasing the hands to the floor or to the right chin. Inhale, come halfway up, extend, lengthen. Exhale, melt a little bit deeper. Two more times. Inhale, reach, reach, reach. Send the pelvis back. Exhale, fold further down. Last time, inhale, extend. Exhale, fold forward. Next, inhale, open your heart, bend the front knee, ground your hands, and step back into downward facing dog. Now, if you're craving, you're more than welcome to flow for the vinyasas in between. Inhale, reaching the left leg high. Exhale, step it through between your palms. Ground the right foot to the mat, and on the inhale, strong for the legs. Lift your torso up, warrior one. Exhale, square the pelvis, pull the right outer hip forwards. And then when you're ready, hands behind your back, maybe reverse namaste or hugging the elbows, straighten the front knee. Inhale, open your chest. And exhale, start bowing forwards. Take a moment here, stand on the pelvis back, reaching from both sides of your body as far as you can, finding more space for your spine, for the torso. Take one more inhale, and on exhale, release the hands and soften the torso down. Letting go of any tension in your jaw, in your face, maybe even closing your eyes. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, fold closer. Inhale, pull from the low back, stretch your body. Exhale, fold deeper. Last one. Inhale, extend, extend, extend. And exhale, melt the torso down. Now inhale, bend the front knee or reach your hands over your head. And on exhale, step your right leg forward. So we're going to come to the eagle pose, bringing your right foot in front of you. Uh, inhale, reach the hands up and over. And on exhale, left elbow under the right. Go ahead, interlace your palms or hug behind the scapulas. And then if you can, Reach the left leg, placing it on top of your right thigh, and then maybe hooking the foot around the ankle. Squaring your body, hips facing forward, elbows as high as the shoulders. And then go ahead, if it's in your practice, bend the knee deeper, sinking the pelvis down, keeping your spine straight. Taking two full cycles of breath here. Staying strong and yet creating ease and steadiness through this pose. 
and then when you're ready inhale gently release your legs bend in the right knee find your balance and transition into the warrior free pose bringing the torso parallel to the ground breathe here if it feels right open your hands on both sides squeezing the shoulder blades behind your back opening the chest maybe even interlacing the hands together squeezing the shoulders even closer take full deep inhale and full deep exhale is there a sense of ease and steadiness here inhale come back to standing and exhale shake it off now let's do the same on the other side bringing your left foot in front of you so transferring the weight onto it inhale reach the hands up exhale this time right elbow under the left interlace your hands and if it's not happening you can always hug your shoulder blades behind you eventually bringing the right thigh on top of the left maybe hooking the foot around the ankle squaring the pelvis lifting the elbows to the shoulder level and exhale sinking a little bit deeper staying with your breath take full inhale in and on exhale releasing the legs go ahead and slide the right leg back coming into warrior three pulling the elbows down towards the floor allowing the upper back to soften maybe opening the hands opening them to the shoulder level or interlacing them behind your sacrum pulling them back staying here breathing softly and inhale reach all the way up exhale go ahead and bow your torso forwards inhale come halfway up and on exhale ground your palms step back first and last vinyasa for today release all the way onto your mat go ahead open your palms 10 inches on both sides of your shoulders lift your upper body up and imagine that you are painting the figure eight through the scapulas releasing the head to the floor and trying to work those deep areas between the shoulder blades and the spine sometimes you will just feel uh, like a place of tension like perhaps a ball is there so try to remove it and to decompress if you want to stay here for a little bit longer otherwise inhale press into the fingertips lift your chest up keep the elbows slightly bent draw them towards the wall behind you and on exhale turn your head over the right shoulder look at the right heel inhale center and exhale other side inhale come back to the center and exhale soften all the way down now this time bring your hands on both sides of your ribs inhale press up into all fours and bring your knees together when you're ready inhale reach the right leg back exhale right knee to the right shoulder inhale back exhale bend the elbows bring the chin to the floor inhale press up knee to the shoulder inhale back exhale down inhale reach exhale knee to the shoulder inhale back exhale down inhale reach knee to the shoulder inhale back exhale down 
inhale, reach, and exhale, set the right foot uh, down, inhale, reach the right hand towards the sky, open your heart, and exhale, slide the right fingers all the way to the left, inhale, open up, exhale, slide it down, inhale, open up. And on exhale this time, go ahead and if you can bring your right ear onto the floor, maybe walking the left hands forward. And just taking a moment here, pulling and stretching in opposite directions. If that's too deep of a twist, you can just lift your torso and stay on your forearm. Full deep inhale. Exhale, left palm closer to your face. Inhale, lift up onto all fours and then slide the right leg back. So let's do the same on the other side and we will shift to relax. When you're ready, extend on the left leg back. Exhale, knee to the shoulder. Inhale back. Exhale, elbows to the, ch uh, to the body, release down. Inhale, reach. Exhale, knee to the shoulder, inhale back, exhale down, inhale, reach, knee to the shoulder, inhale back, exhale down, and one more time, knee to the shoulder, inhale back, exhale down, and inhale, reach. This time, go ahead and extend the left leg all the way to the side, grounding the left foot onto the floor. Inhale, reach the left hand towards the ceiling. Exhale, slide it under your torso to the right. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, pull to the right. Inhale, lift up. And exhale this time. Go ahead and set the left ear down. Maybe walking the right palm uh, forward. Taking a moment here to extend in opposite directions, closing your eyes. Allowing the chest to melt towards the floor, letting go of any tension. And then when you're ready, go ahead, place the right palm in front of your face, lift up, and slide in the Feet together, open your knees wide, and shift into the child's pose. So the same way we opened today's class, the same way we will close it. Melting your chest down, letting go of control of your breath. Maybe rolling your head from side to side. Allow yourself to completely surrender and let go. And then when you're ready, bring your hands on both sides of your face. Inhale, lift up. And then go ahead, find your way to a comfortable seated position. Keeping your eyes closed, keeping your spine straight, hands together at your heart. So yoga practice is indeed like our daily life. And the poses are like daily situations that we see all the time. Some poses are hard and some are pleasant. But it is how you hold those poses will determine whether you will grow or suffer. It is how you hold those poses determine whether you will engage into your ego or listen to the wisdom of your spirit. So stay calm, stay grounded. And then treat each pose or each situation as you treat the poses in your yoga class. 
with ease, with curiosity, finding some steadiness and ease, and then breathing through it without engaging into the drama. Take full deep breath in, and on exhale, bow forward. Namaste. Thank you for the grounds in class.